Okay, morning people, so it's about quarter to seven in the morning, so I usually wake up about half six and then I'll come downstairs and get ready for meal number one. So we're basically going to have this kind of homemade protein rice krispies kind of squares bar thing, uh, if you want to call it. I posted it on TikTok the other day, but it's pretty easy to make. It's literally just three scoops of protein and the macros are really good. It's literally just straight protein and pretty much like not really any carbs or fat at all. And it means that I can have like a bit more carbs and fats like closer to my training window as well, which is pretty decent. So uh, yeah, I'll show you how to make it. It's just tastes good. <laughs> okay, step number one, just get a tub down and then we're going to need some protein powder. Magic. So I'm going to use my protein chocolate brownie batter flavour and you can use Code Dawn at the checkout. Now which we're just going to shove three scoops of protein into the container like so. Spread it about the container and then you literally just gradually add water into it. When you first stir it about just now It'll go quite clumpy and it'll also spill it everywhere. So you can see it's like going like quite clumpy like that and then that's when you need to add a wee bit more water in. Come on. Oh my god, I've actually spilled this everywhere, man. Right, and then when you gradually add water to it, it'll start to go into like a dessert kind of consistency. Like that. Then we're going to need something to make it the crispy. Magic. Literally pour in about 10 grams of Rice Krispies on top of it and then mix everything together. So it should just look like a massive kind of Rice Krispie treat just now and then we're going to bang it in the freezer. What I do is I put it in the freezer and then I go out my morning walk to get my first steps in and then when I come back it will be all frozen and chocolatey. And mm. Amazing. Yeah, so I ended up going to walk for about 50 minutes instead. So usually I only leave it in the freezer for about half an hour, but I'm sure we'll survive. And this is what it comes out looking like. Usually I let it sit for a wee bit, but it comes out like nice and kind of solid. But this, this will mean absolutely jack shit if it doesn't taste good. So here, here's the taste test. So good, honestly so good. I'll leave the calorie macros on the screen, absolutely insane. I've just went onto my fitness pal to see the calorie macros and I forgot I actually have something else with this meal. So I have 90% dark chocolate. This shit is strong. I have 20 grams of it. Do I like it? Mm, not necessarily, to be honest with you, not necessarily, but at the same time, it's so, so good for you. And that might be news to some people out there because what well, you're thinking it's chocolate, but dark chocolate is full of antioxidants. It's also really, really good for like brain function. So your old, your old noggin can function that, that extra wee bit better. And also see in all seriousness, like see how this is my first meal. I'm now about to go on and do my check-ins with, with my clients. And I do think that it kind of helps me yeah, just function a wee bit better and, and I can kind of form sentences a wee bit better and, and think things through in my head a wee bit kind of clearer and stuff. Might be a placebo, but I don't know. But anyways, it is good for brain function. So also the, the AM supplements. So we take this vitamin D3 Elite Essential Omega Oils because I don't get any fish in my diet. And then we take this Alpha Men supplement for my protein as well. So I'm gonna have this, get bashed on with the check-ins and then I will see you at the pre-workout meal and then we'll go hit a push session, a big titty session. Key man, key man. Okay guys, my check-ins are kinda done. I'm like halfway done, but we're getting ready to go on to meal two, which is gonna be the pre-workout meal. So I'm hitting a chest session today and I pretty much just have the same meal all the time. Also as well, you might notice that, that there's a, a, a bright reflection on me, but I'm just getting ready to shoot a TikTok recipe. So I'm going to be making, so yeah, I'm basically making a skinny food banana bread. So it's just like a low calorie banana bread. 
and you can use code ADAMDON at the checkout at Skinny Food if you want to save a discount. But I'm basically making this because I've done a few other of like the kind of dessert recipes. I've done a cupcake one on Instagram, then I've done like a, a donut one as well, and it went mental. It's sitting at like half a million views on Instagram right now, which is class. So I'm just basically going to rinse and repeat them as well, and I'm um, basically do a few new banana bread recipes. Also as well, my wee cousin went on holiday, he's so cute. She went on holiday and she had like money to spend or whatever and she basically bought me this wee magnet here and it's like a banana that's absolutely ripping because she said I've got muscles but uh, I don't know if I've got muscles to be honest with you. So I'm thinking that we'll maybe partner these two together and we'll make a wee contraption. So I'm going to do the banana bread. But the pre-workout meal is always just the same. So it's quite high in carbs. Obviously, I'm getting ready to go into the gym to do a session. So I want to make sure that I've got as much carbs as possible so that my energy levels are going to be there in the session and it's going to be a good one. Also as well, I've got a wee bit of fat. So I just have about 10 gram of the lightest butter. The only reason why is having a wee bit of fats pre-workout as well will just help to aid digestion a wee bit and it'll help to kind of digest the carbs a wee bit better as well. And then I'm going to have that with some bacon medallions. If you are outside the UK, it's pretty much just like low calorie slices of bacon. It's like the bacon that we have with all the fat kind of trimmed off. Um, and it's about two, for, for two bits of bacon, it's only 67 calories and 10 grams of protein as well. So pretty tasty. This is actually one of the meals that I look forward to the most. I don't know why I put these in the air fryer and they just come out like so crispy and mm, it's just nice. I've always been a bacon fan. I'm like that wee guy out of, what is it, the mum swap or the wife swap or whatever. And the pure, I love bacon. No, I want my bacon. I gotta tell you something. Bacon is good for me. I don't know, I'll leave it on the screen. So yeah, let's get into meal two and the making of the TikTok. workout meal, couple of bagels, four of the low calorie bits of bacon and 10 grams of lightest butter. Comes to about 590 calories, 37 gram of protein, 80 grams of carbs and then 12 grams of fat as well. I know this looks weird and the bacon's tiny but see when you like smash it together and the bacon's crispy and it melts into the butter, oh my god it is so so good this is why i look forward to it the most so this is a pre-workout meal i also have been taking a non-caffeinated pre-workout as well so i'll show you that in a second and also i've been having like an intra drink as well which i'll go through in a second as well because i'm absolutely starving and i want to munch these so yeah mm. there we also have the finishing product of the banana bread Looking tasty. Okay, so we've had the meal too. I always leave my meal about an hour to an hour and a half to just kind of sit and digest before I then go in and do my session. But the pre-workout of choice, now I used to be an absolute fiend for pre-workout, but I don't actually drink caffeine anymore. I've not had it for about two months, which is kind of insane. So I've opted for a pump pre-workout from my protein. This is essentially a pre-workout that doesn't have any caffeine in it. So it's just get other shit in it. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say there. But yeah, it's got other shit in it, bar caffeine. I really, really like it though, because it's got stuff like, like beta alanine in it. You still get that kind of wee tingly kind of feel to it where you want to go in and do a session, but it's not like you're like clawing your face or anything. I really think it helps you to, to kind of focus as well. I just have a couple of scoops of the pump stuff and then i'll always go about five grams of creatine this is just a quick tip for anybody see these wee scoops that they give you in the bags of creatine they actually only weigh about three grams so you always need a heat scoop of the creatine to actually get it to the five grams 
So shove that in there. And then I usually put a bit of pink Himalayan salt in it as well. Just the salt helps you kind of, when you obviously do a session and exercise, you lose a lot of kind of fluids and, and you're dehydrated. So the salt just essentially helps to kind of replenish that, replenish the electrolytes. And also it helps you to kind of get a bit more kind of blood flow around your muscles. So you always look fucking pumped up, man. Look tastier. So that's the pre-workout. I also have an intra-workout. That's absolutely massive, massive bag of maltodextrin carbs. So the carbs are pretty much just a, a quick and easy kind of fast acting carbohydrate that I can have during my session, all right, during the actual workout. And purely for one reason, obviously, when you're in the session, you'll get to a point in it where the food that you've had as your pre-workout meal will kind of start to be like wearing off and you've not really got, you know, that energy there readily available. So having something like the maltodextrin carbs in your drink whilst you're drinking the water during the workout is good because you're getting that kind of steady, constant flow of carbs even whilst you're training and you're getting the kind of energy from it like right there and then for your session. So that's what I have during it. I've just got the unflavoured version so I always put like a bit of kind of like juice in it, a bit of diluting juice in it so it doesn't taste like I'm drinking fucking powder that's unflavoured. So we'll get the pre-workout, the pump, we'll get the maltodextrin, the intro workout and then I'll see you at the session and then I'll also see you at the post-workout for the post-workout meal. So we just finished the gym and what a session and this is the next part of the full day of eating. See this thing right here, the gym nut from Pro Life, the gym nut I train at, but it's from the cafe next door, Pro 5s, big shout out to them. There's semi-skim milk in it, frozen banana, ice, two scoops of vanilla protein and then some peanut butter as well and it is honestly the nicest thing ever. It's so like cold but creamy and oh, unbelievable. So I'm going to have this and then I'll jump back to the gaff to have the bowl of Cocoa Pops so I'll see you there. So we're on to the last meal and it's fajita loaded fries and stuff like this is going to be key in your diet for volume eating. So when we're in a diet and our calories are a wee bit lower, we always want to try and eat foods that we're going to get a lot of, but for fewer calories. So this whole, this whole plate here, whole plate is only 480 calories. There's 200 grams of potatoes, 140 grams of chicken, a couple of teaspoons of olive oil and 20 grams of mozzarella and yeah it's a pretty tasty meal and that concludes obviously the full day of eating so that was my full day of eating on 2000 calories and how i managed to get 200 grams of protein in as well a lot of people really struggle with their protein intake but it is pretty simple just make sure that you're spreading out your protein evenly across like four meals or so and you won't miss it try and aim for about good kind of 30 to 40 grams 30 to 50 grams whatever obviously your goal is and how much protein you're trying to get just split it up evenly between four meals and you will not miss your protein intake as well guys let me know what you want to see as the next video i'm going to 
going to go into Aldi and show you a full week's worth of shopping that you want to be having in a calorie deficit. Then I'll make all the meals using the recipes and ingredients that I bought from Aldi. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. It shows me that you're enjoying the content. Subscribe if you're new around here and help this channel grow. Turn my notifications on so you never miss a video ever again. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.